Hey loves and welcome back to my channel. Thank you for joining me tonight for another what's for dinner. Wednesday is when these come out. So I guess they could be what's for dinner Wednesdays. Um, tonight we're gonna be making some sweet and sour cauliflower um, on a bed of rice. Um, I'm going to use frozen cauliflower and I've got the ingredients here so let me show you them. Let's see. Oops, we've got some frozen cauliflower here. Um, got a little cornstarch that's going to go in the seasoning or the mixture for the cauliflower. Got some tahini here. Some vegan brown sugar. Some tamari, which is, oh my gosh, focus. <laughs> Gluten-free soy sauce. Um, some rice vinegar. Got a little bit of crushed red peppers, some not chicken broth. So it's a um, vegan chicken broth. We already saw the cornstarch. Got a little bit of minced garlic, um, a little water, of course, to thin it out, a little oil to fry the cauliflower. And yeah. I'm gonna get this stuff all together and prepared, show you guys what it looks like. Boil me some rice. The bay if I'm gonna go with white rice or brown rice. We're flexible in that, we eat both. Um, brown is healthier, um, but it also takes a little longer and for the sake of time and for tonight, probably gonna be white rice because it takes the shortest amount of time to cook. I will list down in the comments where I found this recipe and how I tweak it I mean, well, I won't tell you how I, I just, I'm going to make it taste like I wanted to taste. So if it doesn't look like the pictures, I don't know what to tell you, but it will taste good. We've had this before. So I just want to show you guys the recipe. So it is tried and true that it does taste good. So you try it out for yourself. It does have a little bit of a kick. So we might not use as much red pepper flakes on this, but we're going to make it do what it do. All right, let's get cooking. All right, first, first things first, I'm going to make my veggie broth or vegan, not chicken broth. I'm, it says that you need half a cube for one, with one in one, gosh, can't read tonight, one cup of hot water. I only need half a cup, so I'm going to use a fourth of a cube and mix that together in some water. I'm going to combine that with my tamari and my rice vinegar. And um, my brown sugar, I think they use maple syrup on the recipe, but I'm going to use brown sugar. And then with that, I'm going to add in a little bit of the tahini, which is way over yonder, and the chili flakes and the garlic. The cornstarch comes in later. It's going to, gosh, turn around, I'm going to actually thicken up the sauce when we get ready to put it together here in just a bit. So let me grab a bowl so I can mix this up. While I mix this up, I'm going to go ahead and put my cauliflower on the stove and let it um, cook down some so the sauce can be made and we can keep the strain going together. So I'm going to, go to get these in. Um, and as always, I'm going to use just a smidge of avocado oil um, to saute them just a little bit. I don't need the water that the recipe calls for because these are frozen. And they're going to make their own water. So I'm going to let these saute down, soften up, and then come back and add some sauce to help finish cooking it. Um, let's make the sauce. So I've got a fourth of a cube of the bouillon here. I'm going to add the hot water to mix that up to get it to be the um, veggie broth that I need it to be. I'm going to stir that on up. I guess my goal is to, and it smells like chicken broth. It really does. But my goal is to get rid of those little pieces down in there as much as I can with this hot water. I literally just took the half a cup of water and put it in the microwave for a few minutes. Got it hot enough to melt the bouillon cube. And that's my broth. All right, next I'm going to add in the soy sauce or tamari sauce and then the rice vinegar. All right. Got my soy sauce ready. 
put that in the mix. Take my fork and kind of just mix that in there. Then I'm going to add in three tablespoons. Again, I'm not sure the recipe, but I'm going to get in the rice vinegar and then add in the rest of the ingredients here. All right, got me some rice vinegar here. It looks a little bit like um, white wine almost. <laughs> it's not though, it's just rice vinegar. Put that in the mix. Add in some brown sugar. Ooh, that disappeared quick. Checking in on the cauliflower. Looks like they're softening down pretty good. Oh, they're actually browning. <laughs> All right, back to the sauce. Add in about two tablespoons of tahini. Try not to make a big old mess. Again, the <clears throat> recipe link will be down in the description box. You can pull it up and go to their site yourself. So I'm not going to tell you all the other ingredients. You'll have to figure it out. But that's the tahini. Take and mix that up. Yum, yum, yum in my tum. All right, now I'm going to add in some chili flakes and some garlic. And then add this mixture to my cauliflower that's cooking right now. I decided instead of cooking rice on the stove, I forgot I had these in there. So I'm going to actually cook these because they are easier <laughs> in the microwave. And all that's in here is water, organic white rice, organic black beans. Tis all. So I'm going to cook this up. Of course, add some flavor to it, a little bit of salt, um, a little bit of vegan butter. Who knows? But I'll cook those, and they will be what I'll lay my sweet and, let's hope, sour cauliflower on top of. All right, let's add some garlic and some red chili flakes. All right, I'm not gonna do a whole lot of these because the last time we did it, it was super spicy. So I'm just gonna go with that amount there. Mix that in. And then get me my garlic. All right, put this garlic in here. Once it's cooked, you don't even taste it all. If you're not a fan of garlic. Our household doesn't mind. Garlic for the win. All right, mix that on up. And then I'm gonna take and pour half of this mixture on the cauliflower that's currently cooking. And then come back and thicken it up with a little bit of cornstarch. And drizzle that on at the end. To the pot we go. I think the cauliflower is softened up enough and uh, thawed out enough. So I'm going to add in half of the sauce. I guess that's half. Um, and I'm going to turn the heat down so I don't burn it. Alright. Stir that in. Cover them all up. Smells good. All right, I think I've got them all covered. Turn the heat down a little bit, let them simmer just a little bit. And then um, after maybe about four or five minutes, I'll come back and add the rest of the mixture. All right, gonna add um, some cornstarch here to my mixture. Let's just thicken it up. <laughs> they don't. Something's wrong with this picture. <laughs> it sounds weird hitting the pot. I mean, hitting the bowl. Eight. So let's mix that up. And if you can see, well, once the cornstarch starts to dissolve, it's thickening up just a little bit, I guess. I 
I don't know. To me, it still looks watery, but I know cornstarch thickens up once it gets hot and it cooks. So I'll go with that story. And that's my story and I'm sticking to it. So I've got that all mixed together. And now I'm gonna pop in this rice into the microwave while I wait on the cauliflower to finish like marinating together. Let's go cook rice. So I tore the corners of this to let it ventilate. And I'm just gonna put it in for 60 seconds. That is why I'm making this rice. So, one minute. And we will have rice and beans. I'll add um, just a little bit more. Here's the cauliflower and what it's looking like. I'm gonna turn it up just a little bit. I don't think it's doing much. But sure enough, I turn it up and it'll burn. But hey, we're gonna trust that it won't. See, I turned it up. Can y'all hear it sizzling? Probably not over the loud microwave, but hey. All right, we'll be back once the rice is done. Add the other sauce to the top of this cauliflower and begin to plate our dinner. Yay! This is what our rice and beans is looking like. Oops, coming out of the microwave. Not a whole lot in the packet, so I'm glad I did too. Um, that way everybody can have some. So I'm gonna add a little bit of vegan butter and a little bit of pink Himalayan salt. Let me go get some. Um, pink salt. Add that to my mixture. And yeah. I think our cauliflower has had enough time to cook. I'm gonna put in the rest of this. Try not to make a big old mess. Put the all eggs too. There's all the red peppers right there. Um, mix this up, let that um, thicken up. Once it thickens up, then we're good to go. I don't know how to make it darker like the picture. Not 100% sure, but hey, I wasn't going for color, I was going for taste. So, I got the taste that I wanted and the texture that works for us, and we're satisfied. Um, maybe if you see anywhere on the recipe where they tell you how to get it the same color, tell me. I think it may have been the veggie broth. <clears throat> they may have made it, I think, at home, and it was darker veggie broth which helped it to get a lot darker. You guys see what this is doing? See how it's thickening up? It looks so good. Can't wait to try it. I will taste test this on camera for you guys and let you see. Oops, pot running away from the eye. <laughs> what it tastes like. See my reaction. Or I may just have one of them taste it and get their reaction. We shall see. We shall. All right. So I've got it sticking it up. Give it about maybe two or three more minutes. And then I'll put it on in a bowl and we can eat. All right. So it's all done. And Lauren is going to give it a taste test for us. <laughs> be honest, Lauren. Taste it for us. She's going to be my taste tester. Is it soft enough? Well, it's still kind of crunchy. I need a fork, the spoon won't like. Right, yeah, just, just pick up a little bit. Very good. Very good. I give it a nine out of ten. Not. Oh. So, I couldn't get a 10, but I'll take the 9 out of 10. It is spicy. That's what I thought. All right. So, that is it for what's for dinner. 
Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. We'll see you guys next time. Thank you again for watching. Lauren gave it a 9 out of 10. It's better than a 4, right? Alright, be blessed and less stress. Shanti, Shanti Speaks. speaks.